One. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah for all the brothers and sisters listening to this speech, uh, this short this speech, and inshallah, Allah will reward you in the hereafter. Today, I would like to thank Allah Azawajal for giving me the opportunity to sit here right now and give you a speech that inshallah Allah will give me reward and he will also give you reward for listening to what I am saying. Today, I would like to talk about one of the main problems facing the ummah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in the 21st century. That is, how to use your time efficiently and how to provide your time in the best content and how you can gain uh, skills or more good deeds in your time. First of all, I would like to say that time does not last forever. Some people think time keeps going on forever and forever. But I know, I think that, you know, it is a well fact that, inshallah, one day all of us will die. The malak al mouth will come to our, uh, will come and take our souls away and give them back to Allah. Because I'm sure you all know the famous dua, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon, in which Allah says, surely we are Allah's and surely we will return to him. Because Allah is the khalaq, the one who created us. The first thing I like to say is an Arabic proverb, which is al la yantazilu li which it, which means which means that time will wait for nobody. And some scholars love this quote so much they have given it the state they haven't given it the status of a hadith, but they say that the meaning of it is just like the meaning of a hadith. Which is why I would like to say that you shouldn't waste your time just playing on your PS4, playing Black Ops Three on Night of the Hours, but rather you should do fun things like grappling or doing physical activities as the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu encouraged us to do physical activities. Like if you play black ops, what are you going to do? You're not going to gain anything from it. But yeah, sure, you can go offer some prestigious and everything. But if you do something sunnah, like grappling, then inshallah, Allah will give you reward. Why? I'll give you three blessings. First of all, it is sunnah. We are following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which is why we are following our deen. The second of all is that we get to socialize and spend time with the, our friends. And third of all is that it's just enjoyable. I'm not saying you should read all the time you know, just always read 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 like you sometimes you go mosque for about three hours but still people complain they say it's too long well even some people they shorten it it's only two hours because you have 24 hours in a day but still you can't only just spend two hours for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his quran because when you die well, only the three things will go with you your deeds in your quran and your soul and your quran is one of the your quran is one of the main things this is why you should busy your time with the quran and I would like to finally conclude with a one famous hadith where the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Do these um, like admire these five things before these five things." The first one is youth before old age. So admire your youth before you become old and weary. Your health before your illness. So appreciate the health you have before you go ill. Wealth before important. So then be happy with the wealth you have and spend it in the way of Allah and free time before you are occupied. I'm not saying just read in your free time just do some good things in your free time that will help you in the hereafter and finally the most important is life before death we should all use our life so that in the hereafter inshallah we can all enter jannatul firdausi jannatul jannatul firdausi jannat jannat so basically there is there is a chance that we may die now we never know when we are going to die so that's why do not waste your time and allah and i would like to finally touch upon that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in this quran everything in those and everything you me these everything here will be destroyed except for allah and then if you do not spend your time properly then allah will question this on the day of dream when everything is destroyed before you and that thing that you just said you didn't spend your time efficiently with that by doing good deeds you were just in your ps while looking at tv and what will you say to Allah on that day when He asks you? أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم وصلت وسلم على سيد المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. جزاك الله فلسلي تما فيديوس.